Okay, so if this all comes out as a, a general random stream of consciousness, uh, hopefully you won't blame me. I'm in an absolutely stunning woodland. Now I keep saying absolutely stunning, but the conditions the last few days have been that good. And uh, I must give a quick thank you to my mate Mark Littlejohn for putting me onto this place. He didn't have to, but uh, Christ, what a place. In these conditions that we've got this morning, really thick hoar frost, uh, it's just, I don't know where to start, to be honest. Hopefully I can, I can do it justice. Um, but it's quite tough to concentrate <laughs> when, uh, when the conditions are like this. Uh, if you do this long enough, you become acutely aware that these sort of conditions really don't come around very often. So you've got to kind of balance the, the pressure of needing to get an image and wanting to capitalise, but at the same time, just enjoying it and taking in the experience. I don't want to get all arty-farty about it, but, uh, but it's not often you get conditions like this, so it's important to enjoy it, I think. So anyway, on to this first shot. Now I've been walking around this uh, woodland for a little bit, very dense birch. They're all sort of quietly, quietly, tightly uh, packed together. And uh, I've come out just onto the fringes of it. The sun's just come up now. And uh, we're getting this lovely warm light on this scene, illuminating the hoar frost and then the trunks of these birches. We've got that lovely contrast again of warm and cold tones. Uh, so the shot itself, I'm at about, let me just check, um, about 70 millimeter, I'm quite close in here and mainly just trying to make sure that the blue sky is out of the frame and I'm um, just concentrating on the trunks of the trees here and then these lovely bits of fern in the foreground that have partially frozen and then the other bits that are sort of melting now that are catching the light. Uh, I'm going to take a few different variations of this uh, just to cover all my bases really because uh, you know, you'd hate to get home in these conditions and have him mucked one up. Um, but yeah, this is absolutely uh, unbelievable conditions. Uh, I'm probably going to spend most of the day here, I think, because, uh, you know, I'd be a fool to not do in these conditions. So anyway, let's have a look at this one. So here we are, shot number two. And I'll be honest with you folks, it's very hard to concentrate when it's like this. It's very easy to just go into panic mode because the conditions are just so overwhelming that it's hard to, to keep your eye on the ball here. And I'm no different from anyone else in that sense. Uh, I'm kind of struggling to concentrate a little bit because what a place this is. I mean, in conditions like this, it absolutely transforms it. And uh, yeah, I don't think I'll see conditions like this, this again for a long time. Uh, so this shot that I've got set up, I'm trying to use this little gap in the woods here that sort of leads downhill uh, into the darker part of the wood. We're shooting on the fringes of the wood again here, using the side light to light the hoarfrost on the tree. And then your eye should lead down into the bottom part of the woods here where it's in a lot more shadow and we've got a lot more cooler tones there. So again, just playing off that cold and warm contrast. Uh, I haven't even looked at the back of the camera. I don't know what 
bloody focal length it is probably about 40 millimeters something like that um but yeah absolutely unbelievable i mean i've only walked about 50 yards uh, i suspect i could spend a week here when it's like this and not cover even a fraction of it uh, unbelievable right anyway here it is on the screen hopefully you like this one so this is my favourite image of 2022 and quite possibly one of the best images that I think I've ever made. Now, I'm a notoriously hard taskmaster on myself with my photography, but this was a really nice feeling to be able to capture this scene and do it justice. Uh, when I got the preview of this on the back of the camera, I think I knew that I'd shot something pretty special and hopefully you like it as well. But uh, this is a, a really great record of an absolutely stunning morning that will live long in the memory. Wow, wow, just had to uh, to take a minute there and just take, well, more than a minute, probably 10 or 20 minutes there and just have a, a little break and just take stock because uh, it's very easy to get overwhelmed when, it was like, when it's like this. I was just saying this before and it's, you can almost go a bit image blind because there's so much going on that uh, it's hard to really focus in on the bits that you actually need to shoot and uh, just been struggling with that a little bit for the last five ten minutes uh, not quite knowing where to be in here because obviously i've not been in here before so i'm doing all of this very much uh, on the hoof a little bit uh, but i have picked out another shot um just one sec i'll just uh, walk you over here i'm just conscious because the sun's really bright here and uh, obviously i don't want to dazzle you uh, yeah, this shot here. Now this one, I, I kind of you can't help but have this nagging feeling when you get conditions like this that you're not you're not taking advantage, uh, and I can't quite get that feeling out of my head. Even though what appears to be okay on the back of the camera, I'm just not quite sure. Uh, but this one, I've spent a good 15, 20 minutes faffing around with it. Uh, quite a complex seeing this uh i mean the birches are lovely in here uh, but they do take a lot of separating out hence why i'm trying to stick to the fringes of the wood here where the light's best the further you go into it obviously the more dense it is and the less light there is and it's harder to to pick out the compositions uh, so anyway this one i've got set up here the tree in the sort of middle distance it's got a nice little sort of kink to it in the middle I'm trying to sort of direct your eye towards that and then using this row of birches in the foreground here to sort of frame the front part of the image. Uh, my, my only slight worry here is, is that that tree in the middle is a little bit too far away and uh, it's not standing out enough. Um, but the more I fanny around with it, the harder it is to try and get that in the spot that I want. So this one that I've got set up is pretty much the best compromise that I can make with it, I think. Uh, I'm going to focus stack this because I would like to get the whole thing sharp because uh, obviously that middle tree in the distance, I'd like that sharp. And uh, the focal length I'm shooting at, um, I'm sort of running into depth of field issues a little bit. So uh, I'm going to focus stack this. Uh, I've got the polarizer on actually just to sort of deepen the colours on these ferns here. We're getting lovely side light at the moment. And uh, obviously in this scenario with the light source 90 degrees to me, this is when a polarizer works best. So yeah, wow. <laughs> Running out of words for the uh, the conditions here. Hopefully I've, I've done them justice. Uh, I think this might be the last bit of filming I do from this location here. Um, Cause uh, I think my head's gonna explode basically. <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, if this is any good, I'll stick it on the screen. Let me know what you think. Right folks, I'm going to wrap this one up here because I think my brain is going to explode, <laughs> to be honest with you. It's just sensory overload. There's just so much to look at here and trying to sort of do it justice with a camera is really mentally quite draining actually. I've just been trying to take little breaks here and there off the camera and just taking this in because uh, it's really not often you're gonna get conditions like this. I, I know I won't see conditions like this again for a long time. So I'm just, you know, trying to just enjoy the experience anyway. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed this one as much as I have shooting it. And hopefully I've done the, uh, done the place justice or somewhat justice. The images look pretty decent on the back of the camera, but you, you never quite know until you process them. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed anyway. And once again, a big thank you to Mark Littlejohn for uh, putting me onto this place. Uh, I owe you about a hundred drinks after this. Uh, what a place, absolutely stunning. Right, enough of my waffling. I'm gonna get going up the road and see if I can find something else. So I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>